So, Brav, you never tested a gaming headset, have you? Now we're going to test one now. So what we have here is E900 Pro model by a company called EXA. EXA are a very well-known company for providing gaming headsets. And as you know, I have previously reviewed a model number E910, which didn't have the Pro tag on it. And one thing I did find on uh, that model was that the microphone sound seems to be not good enough for gaming such as Starcraft and etc. So I'm going to do the same testing uh, with the sound comparison using my Bruv here and the Sony um, XM4 headphones. But before that, this has the um, features like, for example, driving diameter of 50 millimeters and sensitivity level of 118 dB. That's quite high actually. Um, and the frequency range of 20 Hertz. And um, we could go on with all the details, but one thing that seems to be really standing out on my eyes is that the 7.1 surrounding sound system. So I'm very excited to try out this um, the Pro model of E900 by EXA um, and it also has the 24 months extended warranty as well. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. So the moment of truth, yep, another pouch as usual. Um, I presume there's going to be the logo of EXA there. Well done. Now with that, very simple unboxing procedure I would say um, other than this. Um, we got some cabling here. So we got the uh, quick guide booklet here and also the card with a QR code for your benefits of getting um, warranties and, and etc. And we got the uh, manual guide as well. But this is quite interesting actually. We got the rather long earphone jack to earphone jack. Thank you very much. Very useful indeed. And the uh, USB-C cable, um, a long connection as well. Again, that's very good. And um, this is for our single earphone jack that diverts into two. Ah, oh, that's very interesting. And then lastly, this one is a very good one actually. So I guess the gaming headset is designed to have a microphone that connects to an earphone jack in the end. Never seen this actually, but I guess you can use this for various purposes. Very useful indeed. Well done for that. All right, the pouch is out. And that's how it looks. Wow. I have to say, you know, I've seen two uh, EXA gaming headsets so far, but I just really like this, you know, three um, stripes, left and right. And I can see that's where you're gonna connect the USB-C. That's for the earphone jack, I presume. Um, one of them should be and one is for the microphone. I presume this is for the microphone then because that's the left hand side, isn't it? And um, we got rather interesting. Um, these are the volume up and down and um, mute microphone um, bu button as well. And I just love this sort of mesh perforated with the three logo as well. So that gives you a proper feel of this left and right and a bit of a hardcore industrial look of this um red cabling exposed i really like that effect as well and i'm sure we've got a really soft uh, patch for your ears to play for a long uh, time for your game as well so well done for the design and um, lastly we can expand it like that so let's get on to the test so we're going to do a sound test of this gaming headset of e900 with a soundtrack called uh, versetti by jiggler one of my favorite uh, sound testing track and then later on we're going to compare against Sony XM4 to see how good uh, this sound quality is so here it goes <music> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right, so let's compare it against the Sony XM4 headphones, shall we? So here it goes. Okay, so let's play the um, Zero Hour on StarCraft. So here it goes. Man in the rear with the... So let's on the soldiers. This better be good. Been waiting on you. For the sound test first, what I'm going to do is... Of um, course. ...bring these guys out. And then make sure we attack the uh, Zergs. See when they actually make a um, attack with one sound that you'll be able to hear my voice. So I'm going to see these guys. Okay, so there's Zerg. Right, we're going to do this now while the gun sound is happening. Why not? Keep your shirt on. We're going to try that again. So we're approaching the Zerg headquarters for this game. So here's the sure thing. We're going to hear my voice now. That's fine. I don't know whether Long I have to zoom right ready. in to do it to be able to hear. Roger that. So you guys can hear my voice, but um, yes, okay, so that's really pushing it in. So comparing to the model E910, there's a lot of logical approach here that um, E910 needed to be charged to be able to play uh, because it's a wireless gaming headset, wireless. This one is actually a USB-C connected to your computer with a USB cable. Uh, so you don't need to worry about the batteries. And I just love the actual three uh, stripes of red that actually reminds me of Sith or the Darth Vader kind of feel. So that's really good. Again, the exposed wires and etc. That's all beautiful and, and good. And the sound quality, I have to say, it's almost as good as Sony XM4. These um, affordable head gaming headset or any of the um, affordable headsets are really catching up with the sound quality of very expensive um, headphones that we know of. Um, but the microphone sound, I have to say, probably it's not a good example to use but I actually believe that StarCraft is a very good example to use because it requires a lot of team discussions to approach the opponents um, but unfortunately I don't think I'll be able to I was able to hear uh, my voice especially when there's the gunning 
um, attacking moments happening. Um, so I actually have zoomed right in, as you have seen, uh, to uh, my mouth to speak. Um, probably I was speaking a bit quiet. I need to speak really loud and outrageous and, and so on. Probably then you will hear me better. But when, uh, as you have noticed in the beginning of the sound test while I'm playing the game, the sound quality of my voice is really smooth. So I don't know whether there's a way I could actually um, enhance the re recording sound of the mic and then also apply it to uh, my gaming setting as well or maybe there's something wrong I'm doing because apparently uh, this E900 has a really good review overall. I mean the sound test wise again no doubt is really good quality. I have to say if I'm being really picky I don't sense the noise cancellation but you don't need a noise cancellation for a gaming headset. You just need to make sure that the 7.1 gaming um, sound surrounding you hear that properly um, but when it comes to the sharpness that's the slight lack but overall almost as good as Sony XM4 which is really really impressive but again when it comes to the microphone I just love the fact that it's actually dual sort of like modular sorry, uh, sense where you can actually take it out take it in with an earphone jack option um, and so on but definitely a great improvement from the E910, but I just wish I could figure out how I could make my sound, um, microphone sound much clearer and louder when I play the game. So I hope this video uh, was honest and clear and fair, but if you have any grunge or criticism or any agreement or anything that you want to express, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.